Hey guys, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. Now, usually when it comes to basketball shoes that can also double as athleisure or streetwear sneakers, you're looking at the price point of anywhere from 5,000 to 10,000 pesos. That's 100 to 200 dollars. However, here in the Philippines, we have a great local brand called World Balance, and they came out with this. This is the World Balance Enigma, and it is a sneaker that's built both for on court and off court, and it sells for just around 2,100 or 2,400 pesos. That's what, 40 to 45 dollars. So for today's episode, we're going to take a closer look at this one as well as the two other colorways, put them on feet, and I'll even share with you guys the story behind the design of the Enigma because I was able to talk with the actual designer. Let's go. Before anything, let me just give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video. Of course, I'm talking about the one and only Rose Gold and Black. For those who don't know, Rose Gold and Black is a premium men's accessories brand based out of Australia. They come out with amazing products, men's accessories, but women can also wear them, such as this, which is my favorite, is their beaded bracelet. They also have necklaces with different designs, including their new minimalist bar, necklace now here's the great news they're actually having their third year anniversary sale and they're throwing a 30 percent sale across the entire store with free worldwide shipping now if you want to get an additional discount use the link down below and use the code carlo for an additional 10 percent of your entire order so that's crazy discounts because it is their third year anniversary. Guys, if you're looking for new accessories, please do support the brands that support this channel because it keeps on allowing me to create content like this for you. Now, before we jump into my thoughts about the shoe, let's quickly go over the main features and the highlights. The World Balance Enigma is a basketball slash athleisure sneaker that was designed by Aaron Manuel from World Balance Philippines. It features athleisure stylish designs such as the suede area here at the toe box and here at the heel, the wavy pattern that you see across the upper. It features a full length EVA midsole, a rubber outsole to be able to help with traction and cushioning for playing on court with basketball. It comes in three colorways. This one is the white color. It comes in a black colorway and it also comes in a blue colorway. So how is the World Balance Enigma on feet? Now I won't be able to give you like a performance basketball review, but I will try to find one that's done on YouTube and I'll link to it down below. However, what I can give you are two things. Number one, as a casual lifestyle sneaker, this one really kicks ass. Why? Because first and foremost, it is comfortable and breathable. It doesn't constrict your foot whatsoever, which seems to be the trend these days with a lot of basketball shoes, not just from Nike, but even Chinese brands. We're in the shoes are almost like you know choking the life out of your feet <laughs> and that's the vibe I'm getting the feel I'm getting with a lot of sneakers such as the LeBron 17s the Paul George's the KD's I mean a lot of the sneakers are really just built these days to wrap around your feet as if they're like some sort of mummy bandage and they just want to cover you all up as close as possible to your skin and not let the blood circulate but anyway uh, that's the thing maybe because for basketball you're just going to wear it for maybe a game uh, and you need that foot containment. However, this one, uh, this one works really well. I mean, you still get a semblance of breathability because of the mesh. It's not as tight. The toe box is a little bit roomier. And the EVA midsole does a great job of giving you comfort especially when it comes to the cushioning department. So in short, the Enigma is one of those few basketball sneakers that you can actually wear for several hours and your feet will not complain. Now having said that, I also love the design of the sneaker. Take a look at the white and the black and even the blue that I just showed you guys earlier. They're very clean. There's no loud noisy branding on any part of the shoe. Uh, the, the logo of World Balance is actually very subtle uh, here along the mid lateral side on the midsole, white on white. And you also have a World Balance logo here at the tongue. But apart from that, it's a very clean minimalist sneaker. So as far as value goes for a basketball shoe that can also be 
one of your lifestyle slash streetwear sneakers. I really feel that the Enigma does a great job. It's a great alternative to the Invictus, which is very popular now here in the Philippines because they are affordable, the design is good, and the comfort is amazing. Now, if you don't want to go that route or if you don't want the chunky uh, streetwear vibe of the Invictus and you want something that's a mid-top with basketball you know, well, feels, then this is a great, fantastic alternative, especially since it sells for just a little over 2,000 pesos. Okay, now the fun part. I was able to send some questions to the designer of the shoe, uh, Aaron from World Balance Philippines, about uh, how he came out, came up with the design of the shoe. And the story is pretty interesting. So first up, you see the orange piping, especially here at the tongue and the sides of the sneaker. It's also present here on this colorway and even the blue colorway. Apparently, a lot, that, that particular design was something that he picked up when he was riding a grab uh, and he saw the orange cones and or orange blockades of MMDA on the road. So for some reason, he took inspiration from that and he applied it to his design of this sneaker. Now, it doesn't end there. The suede toe box and the suede part of the heel is also inspired by that very same grab ride because when he entered the grab car or grab whatever this is he was riding on uh, the, the seats or some part of the back had suede linings and it he I, I guess he really liked it and he incorporated it as well in the design of the shoe on the basketball front this was originally supposed to be a low top but based from his research and talking to Filipino uh, basketball players they prefer mid to high tops and thus the increase uh, in size and secondly it has two tongues as you can see over here because it's supposed to provide you with more cushioning especially at the front part of your feet if you are moving forward so i guess it's those little details that make the sneaker a little bit more interesting and a little bit more personal and relatable especially if you think about it in the context of the philippines or in a lot of us a lot of people especially in metro manila uh, ride grab car. So to those who don't know what grab car is, especially to those who live in the US, uh, grab is like our version of Uber. So Uber pulled out of the Philippines, so we have grab car, which basically the same as Uber or Gojek. Uh, we use an app to be able to hail, hail uh, taxis or cars. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the story of the World Balance Enigma. Speaking of World Balance, let me just take this opportunity to thank World Balance Philippines because to those who don't know, I'm working on a sneaker auction. So I'm, ra I'm auctioning off a bunch of hype sneakers to raise funds to buy PPEs uh, as well as food for our medical frontliners here in the Philippines. So that will happen April 5, 2 p.m. on my Facebook page. So if you want to buy hype kicks at great prices and at the same time help out, Filipino medical frontliners, that is your opportunity to do so. The link to my Facebook page can be found down below. Now, World Balance Philippines, they were kind enough to donate a hundred of their sneakers, which we can give uh, to the frontliners, so their easy soft shoe. So thank you, World Balance. I appreciate it. Uh, it, it makes me feel happy to support brands like you who, are, who have the heart for Filipinos. And speaking of auctions, to round off and end the vlog, uh, DJ Big Boy Cheng, who is our idol sneakerhead here in the Philippines, sent over this sneaker to be included in the auction. So it is apparently one of the rarer 4D Y3 shoes. Uh, let's take it out of the box. It's called the Y3 Runner 4D2. And it is in the white, black, white, off-white or cream white colorway. So as you can see, it has the Y3 box, orange Y3 at the top black box to be able to make it feel more expensive <laughs> and if you pop the box open uh, i actually thought that this was used now it's either really clean or it's still brand new i have to check with dj big boy cheng uh, this is in size 10 and a half so this will actually be part of the auction that will take place uh, tomorrow i'm recording this on saturday april 4 i will probably be uploading it the evening of april 4 as well so this is what the sneaker looks like so have a closer look at it, guys. Uh, you have a cream 4D midsole over here. You have the Y3 signature at the top. You have the three stripes here along the near the tongue, well, the supposedly tongue of the shoe. And you still even have the tag over here from Y3. And the lacing system is also pretty whack. I mean, it goes up and down, up and down. Then there's like a secondary layer here at the middle. Just looks really kick-ass by far. 
the nicest looking 4D sneaker I've ever seen. And if this was probably like size 12, I would have made an offer to DJ Big Boy Chang just because I really like the look of this shoe. Now, according to DJ Big Boy Chang, the going price for this is 40,000 pesos, uh, but you will be selling it at a much lower floor price during the auction. So if you want to buy this one and help out as well, guys, please do support the auction. Happens Sunday, April 5 on my Facebook page. To clarify, 100% okay, of the proceeds will actually go to our beneficiaries. And that, ladies and gentlemen, actually wraps up our vlog for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you want more details about the auction, I will put links down below of pre previous videos that I did talking about it. Peace, God bless, what's up? Boom.